Welcome to How To Pam. Let's talk Linux, the channel that promotes professional computing with free open source software, and we're helping FOSS users find the answer. In today's video, I want to show you how to install OBS Studio for screen recording on your Linux operating system. Now, OBS Studio can be a great tool for screen recording and for streaming. This video is just going to deal with, with screen recording, not with streaming. That's a whole other topic. So if you'd like to use OBS Studio for screen recording, stick around and we have some real interesting facts for you here. Okay, the best way to get OBS Studio is go to your distribution repository or your store. If you have an app store on your Ubuntu distribution or whatever and get it from the store. If you're running a distribution without a store, you have the command line and you can easily check in the command line by by searching your distros repository for OBS Studio. And you do that with sudo apt cache. Search on domain units or domain derivatives OBS Studio. And when you do that, you press enter and you can see we have OBS Studio right here. However, the distro repositories usually have an older version of that so if we want to see what version it is instead of search here on the bane we would run show and I think I have it right here so show and press enter to that here we've got some information on the package OBS studio package and you'll notice up here it is version 2203 that is the version now you can easily install it from there by saying sudo apt get install obs studio. Simple as that. Now it tells me I already have it installed, and that is true, so I don't need to install it. But if you install it, go ahead and install OBS Studio from your distro store if you have one or through the command line from your distro repository the other option available is OBS studio has recently released a flat pack version but for that you would need to install flat pack and if you have not got flat pack installed you can head on over to the Flatpak website and follow their setup instructions here where you will choose your version of Linux. I have Debane. And when you go to that page, it will show you the commands to run as administrator or root to install Flatpaks and then a repo here where you can get your flat packs from. Once you've installed the flat pack via the instructions on the flat pack website, you could go to flat pack website if you like, where they have OBS Studio. And if you scroll down, it shows you the command line commands to put in to install the OBS Studio Flatpak. I already have Flatpak installed, so if we wanted, we could take this command here and put it in our terminal and say enter. And it shows me here that I've already got it installed, which I do, but if you did not through that command, it would prompt you um, with the package and ask you to say yes or no to the installation and once you have installed that it gives you the command here 
that you can put in your terminal to run the flat pack. Of course, you can also use that command and right click on your desktop and create a desktop launcher. And then when you have a desktop launcher created with this command in the command section, then you just click on your desktop launcher and it will run your flat pack for you. So that is how you can get the flat pack installed and that is how you can get the latest version. I believe flat pack has version 27 if you see here and yet our distro repository only had version 22 so there's quite a difference between 27 and 22 however usually the version in your distro repository is more stable than the newest release out here and I will show you why um, I happen to have the flat pack version installed and if we run it from here let's have a look okay here it is here now don't shy about these things these are simply things you'll have to set up to get your your version of OBS studio running when you first install it it'll open up and it will have some configuration windows one will ask you do you want to set up primarily for streaming or primarily for screen recording in this one we will choose the option to set up for screen recording don't get nervous about that you can always change your options from the setting window here here are all your options here that you can change so don't worry about what it asks you for but if you're going to be screen recording as we're doing in this tutorial then choose that option when you do the initial install now you will be left at a window like this so once you've got it installed you're going to be looking at a window like this and nothing's going to work because you first have to set up some options here so that you have hardware connections and we do that by going to the sources here and we click on the plus button and let's add a sound option first we add sound here choose the default should work create a new one if there's nothing listed here create a new one and it chooses the default sound here's my sound card here's my my microphone but it should work on default say okay to that you can see the mic is working here now with this green meter bar let's add screen capture again create a new one because there's nothing existing when you have used this a few times and added extra sources you will have existing things listed here that you'll be able to access and here is our screen and it's mentioned here screen 1920 by 1080 at 00, zero. now we need to add maybe a webcam here is a video capture and create a new one there also because there's nothing existing and here we go right here this is my webcam say okay to that now we've got sound and we've got desktop to record and we've got a webcam you'll notice that this is movable anywhere you want to go it's sizable just like that and you should be ready to record now you could go to the start recording button here and click on that and that should get you recording let's just push the start recording button you see the icon moved up here with the red if you click on that icon the window will disappear and now you are recording you want to right mouse click on that and say stop recording and the red goes away 
everything is accessible. If you click left mouse on your icon again, the window will show up again. If, if you need to readjust some settings, you can turn on or off these sources with this eye icon. You can turn them off. You can turn the webcam off here. You can do that. You can access your sound recording through these sprockets here, right there. A whole bunch of options. Or you can access it here, as you did when you set it up. Okay, so once you've got your sources in here, you can start recording. And when you're finished recording, can just exit from here. However, if you need to access the settings for streaming, your output, your audio, your video, output is important. By default, it uses MKV file extension. You might want to change that to MP4, but you may run into some encoding difficulties. You may be wise to just go ahead and let OBS create your MKV file and then transcode it through another application into the MP4 that you would like. You can see the warning here that it states about changing the encoding options. You will have to likely custom set some of this stuff for every machine you put it on each operating system will likely be different so you can go ahead and customize it so that it works optimally on your system you might find that the newest version if you choose to go with the flat pack version the newest version of OBS studio may have some instability problems some functions may not work on my version of the flat pack I could not get audio I just could not get audio you can see here that this older version from my distros repository allows Alasa the Lennox sound it allows that here but the newer version from the flat pack only allows pulse and for some reason I could not after much configuration I could not get it to pick up my microphone you may run into that option this is why the older version in your distros store or repository though it is older it may be working better on your operating system than the newer version so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial by how to Pam let's talk Linux professional computing with free open source software and we're helping FOSS users find the answers if you enjoyed that tutorial give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our YouTube channel or give us a shout out on Twitter at how to Pam at Twitter thanks for watching another tutorial by How To Pam. Let's talk Lennox.